gone extremely well. We've only had five minor injuries. None of them were related to any bridge jumping, which is, uh, in our respects, um, really great. How lucky do you think we've been in terms of not having any injuries from bridge jumpers? Very, very lucky. Um, having a look at watching some of the jumpers going in, head first, um, doing somersaults, if there was anything under the water, they could have sustained serious injuries, which would have um, could have had a catastrophic event on their life later on, as we have seen in the past year. We're really disappointed that a few individuals ignored the advice about their own safety, put themselves at risk and others by jumping off the bridge into the river. Did you employ a change of tactic this year? Because we noticed that the, uh, the bridge was open to pedestrians rather earlier this year than in previous years. No, um, it's a similar approach. Uh, we all worked together. Once the city council put the road closure in, then the officers were there to support stewards should they need to, if they need to enforce that or deal with any crime and disorder. Um, it happened that because so many people actually then went onto the bridge to try and jump into the river, that it made it safer at that point to actually lift that closure. And um, do you not think that you could have perhaps held people back a bit more to prevent more people jumping off? Well, I don't think anybody wants the event of May morning and the choir to be distracted by some sort of confrontation between police officers and members of the public. Um, and we work with our partners to try and prevent that happening.